Hello, I'm Patrick Childress on Brickhouse, and today I want to show you the process that we went through to discover the best way to mix two-part anything, and especially epoxy resin. When we lived in a house, I had these large cans of epoxy resin out in the garage that I could push down on the big pump for the resin that would meter out a certain amount. I could push down on the small pump of the part B that would meter out just the perfect mix. I could stir it up and I never had any trouble with the epoxy resin hardening up and doing what it's supposed to do. It's only after we moved on the boat I didn't have the luxury of storage of all these cans and pumps. I started eyeballing a two to one ratio or whatever and it doesn't work. My glue would set up but it would never harden up and I spent endless hours scraping things away and redoing it. It was a real headache. So I finally bought a bunch of these little cups at a hardware store, like a hundred in a package. And before using them, I would add water one spoonful at a time and then mark it with a pen just with the dot. If you try to make a line, it's always squiggly and it doesn't work. I'd add another spoonful of water and another dot. Now these sides are sloped, so the higher up we go, the closer the lines will be together. So you can't just measure up an equal distance and make a mark. So we'll be able to use water, make our marks all the way up to the top, and then dry it out. It'll be ready for measuring epoxy glue. Now there's four marks. I'll see if we can fit one more spoonful in. And that brings us just about right up to the top here. So now we'll be able to measure two to one, three to one, or whatever, in, in small quantities. And normally I would make about six, seven, eight cups at a time. So I have plenty. I don't have to go through this whole measuring process every time I go to mix glue. The next way we started mixing glue was with a metered cup. Uh, long ago a cruising friend gave me one much smaller than this and I used it for several years. Uh, but it's of a certain type of a plastic that I could wipe it out with uh, acetone, I could clean out the glue, and it, even after it hardened up I could squeeze the sides and break it out. So I had that cup for several years, but I could never find a replacement for it when I finally had to throw it away. This measured cup is in liters. I got this at a local hardware store in Malaysia. And it's good for measuring paint once or twice, but if you try to clean the insides out with acetone, it'll discolor, it frosts the inside, so then you can't see your marks or how much is, you can't see the marks from the inside, nor can you see your liquid from the outside. So it's a very limited use uh, item. The best way to mix glue is what a, another cruising friend showed me, and that is with a kitchen scale very precise and when you go to use it you should put a piece of plastic over it as a drop cloth if you don't and you drop some glue on it and try to clean it off with uh, acetone it turns into a bigger disaster so then you just put a container on top that you're going to be mixing your glue in push the button to turn it on and now it'll zero out and it's showing zeros on the scale right now and I can go ahead and put in a certain amount. I'll put in two cups here. We'll see what that weighs. So that brings it up to 60 grams. So I know we just need 30 grams, that'd be 90 grams total to have a two to one mix. One caution though, sometimes if it says two to one by volume on the can, it may not be two to one by weight. So you have to read the uh, directions very closely to make sure that the weight measure uh, that you really want to be dealing with. Another couple quick things while we're here that I'll show you is Marine Tex. This is a great product. 
and it mixes five to one and that's where the scale is very helpful in getting just a precise measurement and marine tex is a super epoxy i've used it for patching small holes in the exhaust system or some tiny defects around the boat which i don't have the time to mix up thickened um, epoxy or uh, other types of glue very quick very hard very expensive and I have not been able to find that anywhere outside of the United States. It comes in a can with the, um, the thick part and then the hardener, the catalyst, is in the smaller bottle. In mixing up glues, it's very helpful then to have popsicle sticks. And have you had a magnum bar? Amazing. They even sell these in Malaysia. So after you have the, the great ice cream, save the stick, wash it off. It's really good for mixing up small amounts of glue. The other thing is nitrile gloves. It's so much easier to have your hands covered in gloves rather than in glue. It's, you just take off the glove, throw it away. You don't have to deal with cleaning up your hands and everything else with acetone. Nitrile works and lasts a lot better than the uh, light colored latex gloves. You can see this one I used uh, about a week ago. I was gluing up some sandals with contact cement and it's still usable. Very hardy. And these are cheap. You can buy them at just about any pharmacy around the world. Well I hope this is helpful for you and if it was please give us a thumbs up down below on the screen and also subscribe and we hope to see you soon for the next video.